The member for Blair. Uh, thank you, Mr. Speaker. My question is to the Minister for Defence Materiel. Will the Minister update the House on the progress of the Super Hornet acquisition project and the benefits of this project to Australia's defence capability? The Minister for Defence Materiel. Uh, thank you, Mr Speaker, and can I thank the member for Blair for his question. This is a very important project. I recently visited uh, RAF Base Amberley with the member, and we were briefed by Wing Commander Murray Dog James about this project. Earlier this year, RAF took delivery of the first 11 Super Hornets, and I can advise the House that three more are scheduled to arrive later this year. Ten more are due next year over the course of the year. All will be based at Amberley. These are state-of-the-art fighter planes and a step up on the current classic Hornets. Mr Speaker, all three of the aircraft on their way will be wired with the potential to be converted in the future into growlers. Growlers would give us the ability to jam the electronic systems of enemy aircraft and land-based radars and communication systems. Twelve Super Hornets will be wired in this way and this will provide future governments with the option to add this capability in the future. Mr Speaker, I can also advise the House that testing is now complete on a new glide missile the Super Hornets will carry called the Joint Standoff Weapon C. It can glide for up to 100 kilometres and destroy targets like concrete walls and bunkers with pinpoint accuracy. Testing over the last two months at the Woomera test range has been successful. Mr Speaker, this means that the Super Hornets are on track to become operational later this year. Mr Speaker, a lot of credit for this must go to the former Defence Minister, Brendan Nelson. The Super, Hornets, the Super Hornets would not be in Australia if not for the decision that he made. Credit should also go to the member for Hunter, the Chief Government Whip who was the driving force behind the decision to wire 12 of the Super Hornets with the potential to be converted to growlers in the future. And the former Minister for Defence, Senator Faulkner, and former Minister for Defence Materiel, now the Minister for Climate Change, who have overseen the delivery of the Super Hornets on time and under budget. You'll wait. Order. You'll wait. Order. Order. This project this Order. project, Mr Speaker, is an important part of delivering the defence capability we need, and there are a lot of, of defence personnel working Order. with industry and the US Navy to make sure it's a success. The arrival of the Super Hornets marks an important transition for the RAAF. The final F-111 squadron will be decommissioned later this year after four decades of service. On the 2nd of December, Mr Speaker, the RAAF will be holding a decommissioning parade at Amberley, and the next day the F-111s will do their final fly past and the last of their signature dump and burns. There will be many more people to recognise that week as we mark the end of one chapter of Australia's military aviation history and start another with the arrival of the Super Hornets.